Hello, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to split Xfinity Wi-Fi for enhanced connection. All right, so the first thing I would like you to do is to actually set up your Xfinity account. So just ensure that you have gone through the process to get your Xfinity ID and you have gotten your cable box. All right, and then everything is in order. All right, so once you're done and you want to, you know, separate I'm gonna have to close it so you want to separate your 2.4 and 5g hz on xfinity routers or modems that's like literally splitting your xfinity wi-fi network by separating the bands this is exactly what you can do first of all you need to know what why exactly you're doing this right so you're able all right you 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 can you split bands because it actually helps you all right let's head over to enhance connectivity and performance which i've said earlier and then also using the x5 app or the admin tool you can easily create separate networks for each frequency all right and another thing is that it offers faster speed but has shorter range and also splitting a wi-fi network allows for better device management reduce interference and improved network control okay so it just helps you optimize your um xfinity wi-fi experience once you split the bands so here are the steps that you can actually take to separate your 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz bands on an Xfinity router. First step is to connect to Wi-Fi. So once you've connected to Wi-Fi, make sure you're connected to your Xfinity Wi-Fi network. Connect that. The next step is to access your admin tool. And how do you do that? Open the web browser and enter 10.0.0.1 in the address bar. So open any browser of your choice and in the search bar you're going to find type in 10.0.0.1 in the address bar so once you do that you're going to see a window that allow you to enter your router admin username and password once you enter that your router admin username and password you can definitely find that at the back of your router or at the bottom of your router all right so once you do depending on the kind of router that you're using whether 5g 4g or whatever so navigate to the wi-fi settings now once you navigate to the wi-fi setting go to go gateway that once you've entered you log into your router head over to the wi-fi settings on your system and go to the gateway now once you click on gateway click on connection and once you click on connection click on wi-fi now right there you will go ahead to edit the band settings and how do you do that click edit all right so once you get to the wi-fi there click edit next to wi-fi band that's either 2.4 or 5 gz whichever one you're using that you want to configure right click on edit next to the wi-fi band so choose the one that you want to edit or you want to configure and once you do that you're gonna have to rename the ssids now how do you rename your ssids assign a unique name that's the ssid to each band to easily identify them so you want to split 2.4 and you want to split it split 2.4 and 5g ghz right okay so once you have clicked on that edit so assigning unique id unique name that's ssid to each band is identified them like home net 2.4g and home net 5g so once you have renamed go ahead and save changes how do you do that after renaming you're going to see an option for you to save settings so go ahead and click on save settings after saving your settings you're going to have to reconnect your devices how do you reconnect your devices now reconnect your devices to the newly named bands according to their compatibility and your preference so reconnect your device to the newly named bands because you know you've actually renamed them, right? So connect them according to their compatibility and of course, according to your preference. That's how you separate the 2.4 GHz band and the 5, you separate it from the 5 GHz band on your Xfinity router. All right. So this is how you can actually split Xfinity Wi-Fi and running you through the, um, the benefits or the advantages of doing that number one it enhances better performance um or it enhances performance so it gives you better performance and then there are less interferences and of course device compatibility some other devices only recognize the two four frequency why some recognize the five do you understand so all of these are just to ensure that you do not have any um you do not have uh how do i put it 
just ensure that you do not have any glitches when you're ex when you're experiencing your xfinity all right it just gives you a smooth ride into having the best or the top-notch experience that you want to get in xfinity so this is pretty much the process now i can go over this tutorial from top to bottom to get acquainted with the steps of course once you're done you will be good to go i hope this tutorial marvelously helped to search